It's, it's almost like, you know, it was a James Brown was a school, not only a band, but it was a school oh, too. We used to call it JBU. You know, right. was, all the musicians call it JBU. You know. Wow, <laughs> and that's real. That's real. Yeah. That is that is real. I, you know, I still find myself. You know. I broke out in song just a little bit early. I won't do that again. Oh, I, thank I, God. I got, I got excited. I, <laughs> I, I, I want to hear it. <laughs> watch out. Yeah, yeah. Double, 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 baby. No, watch there out you now. Go. That's right. Oh, but, oh, um, yeah. no. Here we go. So, so wait a minute. So wait a minute, Mousy. So when they said give the drummer some, they were giving it to you. They said give yeah, the drummer well, some. Case, but I got to wow. I mean, I I mean, I give props to... Uh, uh, God bless Clyde Stubberfield and Jabbo Stotts. I mean, they were the, they were the kings. They were the masters. Right. They were the ones who were sampled more than any drummers in the world. <laughs> Let's put wow. it that way. Wow. Wow. So, and I mean, I was fortunate enough to work with both of those guys. You know, at the Hollywood Bowl, like I said, with Christian McBride and D'Angelo, and it was for the movie get on up so that was my last time working with them you know and i i mean it, it's it was an honor you know to work with those guys side by side it was like man right it was i you mean know, and then the, then to the take over the range from them you know so you know mm-hmm. it's like man well they don't they, a blessing, you know? they don't pass it on to somebody who they don't think can handle the mantle so they well, they, you they, know, they, I, they wouldn't give it to you if they didn't think you could do it you know, like, and then I tell everybody, it's not me doing the work. It's, it's all God's work. Man. I just go where he tell me to go. That's right. That's so what I see. Him all the praises. You know? Ob- obedience to do everything. Don't you make me start praise dancing in here. Whoa, That's right. Watch, watch That's out right. now. Yeah. Singing and praise dancing. <laughs> in trouble. See, oh, watch yeah. out now. Watch oh, yeah. out. The doors of the church are open. Multi-talented. Just multi-talented. The Lord. next time will be keeping it on the one. But um, see, but that you know, it's all church when I mean, you go see Brown anyway. So I mean, it's all real. It's like, like look, she just said it all. You know, you can feel it. You know, it's real. <laughs> right. That's right. That's right. You got to be real. Mm-hmm. But you know, but but you talk about that, and you talk about uh, church and and the influence, the gospel influence, and everything else. But also, you know, the time uh, that you all in in the civil rights time and all of that kind of things that were that were happening to. The, the the consciousness of the music too is songs like you know say it loud and black and I'm proud and and all the things that True. Mr. Brown had did you know had gone through uh, you know quieting the riots uh, in the '60s mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff where they would where they would call on him and it wasn't just That's about right. dancing and shaking your butt and everything there was about a, it was a release too but it was also about being conscious. Uh, keeping which calm, is what, keeping order, keeping That's order right. because it, it was crazy. It was, it was really in out of, and for him, them to call him to do that, you know, he was the man. I mean, from that point on, there won't, you know, there won't be another. I'm, I, you know, there's not going to be another James Brown. Um, but, but the in the people that you work with, you talked about some of the folks that you worked with uh, in this in the new up and coming, and some of them that have, have, you know, I say up and coming, but some of them have have kind of uh, made a name for themselves already. But do you, is, is there anybody that you worked with? who you see kind of has that work ethic, the same kind of work ethic and, and, and headed uh, with the same kind of trajectory as, as uh, Mr. Brown? Well, I mean, not only just in the forefront, but in the back of the, of, you know, in the back of the scenes, you know, you know, where you don't really hear about much going on. And I got to give it to that young man, Christian McBride. Mm-hmm. And I give him a lot of, you know, you know, uh, because he, he's keeping James, I mean, it was him, I introduced him to James Brown. Mm-hmm. And through him, he's given me the opportunity to work with, like like I say, the cats, D'Angelo. We just did a thing at the Apollo for uh, the 50th anniversary of Black and I'm Proud. That was uh, the, the cover of the grounds, about, six, you know, Soul Power, 68, you know, the the the, 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 the struggle of, of overcoming all of that at that time, and that's coming back with some power, you know, soul, soul power, black and I'm proud, you know, gave us some proudness. So right. I had the privilege of working with Lee Fields, uh, uh, Christian McBride, they had Pee Wee Ellis, Fred Wesley, they had Nona Hendrix, Sunshine, Avery Sunshine, yep. So, mm-hmm. I mean, we had a cast of a lot of people coming out to do things, so. Avery Sunshine is no short, I mean, Oh no, by no means. That's right. And uh, so, 
you know, working with him, I'm 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 working with a, a cast of what's happening now. So that's right. So the cycle never ends. So I, I thank God for what He's placing me, you know, in. You know, and that's why I go back to music. You know, you gotta accept it because yeah. if you once you cut it off, saying, "Oh man, they that's their thing." You know, it's going to be that thing, but you're going to miss the next thing that comes after that if you don't get with this thing. That's so right. try to get with some of this thing to hear what they're talking about so you know where they're going. Because if you cut them off, you'll never be, you know, able to keep up. And I just like to keep up with our youth, you know, because uh, some of them do get off and they need some of this history to get them back on. That's right. That's right. That's right. No doubt. No doubt. I need and a lot of you know a lot of them don't know i mean they a lot of folks know james brown's music or bits and pieces of his music mm-hmm. but don't really you know didn't know the man and some of the stuff that they saw uh uh you know as they were growing up in later years was was something leaning more towards you know joking or things like that or as he was as he was as he wasn't the the meteor on the rise anymore but he was he was kind of a, becoming a falling star just 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 the, the about time you know the the arc mm-hmm. of time that you that he had done so much for so long and then uh started to uh started to decline did you see did you see anything in the uh uh you know when when things started to take a turn um and he was it was time to kind of move on uh or or did he kind of just decide it was time for him to move on or 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 what well, his illness, whatever that, you know, the cause of his illness was, you know, I mm-hmm. mean, they say congestive heart failure is what killed him. Mm-hmm. And uh, we looked a little thin on the last tour that we were, you know, on, you know, but at this time, you know, during the time that he was passing, we were getting ready to go on an, an extensive tour. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, we, we we planned on going to New York. I mean, my calendar was full for the next three months. You know, and him being at 73 then, you know. Wow, did so, that kept no. him going. Oh, yeah. You know, we, I mean, I think him staying at home is really what kind of hurt him because he was, you know, maybe, maybe dipping and dabbing or whatever he was doing. You know, I don't you know, I don't even talk about that. You know, but at his age, it may have caught up with him through years, you know what I mean? And it's right. just that time at home he just it, he liked the road he loved the road right you know he right. wanted that road and uh so at this time he w- he was uh diagnosed with pneumonia mm. so i got a call early that morning saying oh we're gonna be all right we're going to the next game you know he just cleaned himself up and the next thing i know it was like quarter of two i'm getting a call He's gone. I, I, his son had called me. Okay. He means gone because I'm thinking Mr. Brown had just got up and left out the hospital. Mm. He said, no, he passed. I'm like, oh, man. I didn't believe it. You know, I'm still packing, believe it or not, because he's in the hospital. We know he's in the hospital. What I got a call earlier stating that we're, getting, we're still going. We're not doing the first date, but we, we'll catch up on the next one. So right. I'm still packing. Next thing I know, I look on the TV, and then that's when it really, you know, I'm like, no. And then my phone rang for the next, I don't know how many months, you know, back to back to back to back, calls, 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 you know, calling from everywhere, you know. So it, it was, it, it was, it, it was a trip, you know. Well, I, when I he can, passed, I mm-hmm. can tell you that um, we we've been hearing some from some folks on the chat that uh, the music that is in the background, Payback, is like one of their all-time favorite hits. So um, folks are, are, are resonating with Payback and resonating with what you're saying about The Godfather. But, you know, one of the things, Mousy, that I think it, it kind of caught folks off guard, and, um, and, and you know, we got to kind of delve into this just a little bit. Um, you know, later in, in James's uh, career, uh, particularly with the with the allegations of domestic violence and the the drunk driving charges and so forth, um, what types of things do you think were going on that kind of drove him in that direction? Because, in, in spite of it all, you know James was still loved by millions of people, and there were millions of people that were sending prayers up for him every day. But what what do you think was kind of pushing that uh, pushing James in that direction at that point in his life? I, I don't know what was pushing him in that direction, but at the same time, 
he's no different than any other individual out here that sure. may have been a successful lawyer, a successful police officer. That you know, only th- difference with him, he had a spotlight on him. Sure. And that's the only difference. So that's why I say his personal stuff. We all, everybody, I mean, not everybody, but a lot of people out here have something that's hidden. Or, but, you know, he was just one that, or, you know, his domestic abuse, his, the way he grew up. Remember now, he grew up in a whorehouse. Sure. But he, you know, he danced in front of soldiers trying to make money. He had no, he had a seventh grade education. Wow. So Much he saw his, his mom and his dad go through what they went through. You know, so yeah. I mean, you know, it, it, it's it's a cycle. <laughs> you know, if we look if we look today at our at our society, it's no change. You know, slavery has been embedded in us for the longest time. But to actually sure. know somebody who had to to pick cotton, steal to survive, but then become a big famous person, and then. They go back into their own demons, you know, their own demons, find them doing something else. I can't, but his music, I can't, you know. Oh, yeah, I mean, and he, I mean I, his music is is second to none. And uh, and yeah, I think, yeah. and, and you just look at all the people that have been influenced by him uh, across mm-hmm. all spectrums of culture and race. I don't care who you are. Everyone, mm-hmm. even, you know, even your your staunch conservatives to your most liberal Democrat or independents has a favorite James Brown song. You know, oh yeah, I, I don't care oh, who yeah. you are. Yeah. You, there, there is right. a famous you. Everyone has a favorite James Brown tune. Period. You know, mm-hmm. uh, which which was one of the things I think that made it so hard for everyone because, and in particular, uh, the picture they put of his arrest. You know, when he was all disheveled and everything, which was. I was like, wow, man, they, they're really reaching. I mean, he was doing re- the drug, whatever drug yeah. he was doing, he was doing drugs. Yeah. You know, at yeah. the time, he, okay, he's an entertainer. They love stories. Okay, here's the man, we'll get a bigger story out if it's James Brown, more so than this Joe Blow. You know, who's, who's doing the same thing just down the street. <laughs> sure. Right. You right. know what I mean? And I'm not trying to cover it up to make no. a right, I mean, a wrong sure. into a right. It's just that the light was on him, you know. It, it, some people can't handle that light. If some people don't care about that light, but yeah. they know they're going to find a way to get out of whatever troubles that they were in. He was one of those kind of guys. So he, whatever sure. trouble he was in, he got out of it. <laughs> to the bitter end, all the way through his music, bringing him back up. He was he he was uh he lost everything got it back lost everything got it back he's been a, you know an entrepreneur for years sure right. so he knows the system he had presidents calling him you know i mean i'm actually in his office one day he gets a call step out son. i happen to know who the president had who had happened to call him and i'm like well this is deep here <laughs> <laughs> and i was like okay and it was just a conversation, you know. It was just a conversation. And he told me he was giving me, giving him a call, and I'm like, yeah, 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 right, right. Who, right. who was the president? You know, this is a, huh? Who was the president? <laughs> well, you know, I don't. It was Clinton. Okay, okay. I can see I, I that. Could, it was I could. Clinton. I could. I would have guessed that. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. Yeah, he got a yeah, saxophone. Absolutely, I, I can definitely see call, that. You know, just a regular call. I was like, wow. <laughs> and he used to, and, and Al Sharpton, you know, was was very. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, Al Sharpton was very close with him too. What, well, Al, yeah, Al he was, was like a son to him, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. So he was always, he always, you know, had his his foot in the door. He was in the movies. He had, it, it, oh, he you was, know, he was in Rocky. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, it, Brown had his ear to the ground. You know what I mean? And to mm-hmm. have his ear to the ground, he knew what was happening. Not only here, but across the water, everywhere. He because he made things man. happen. I mean, yeah, he would make things happen. He could make things happen that, you know, quietly other people couldn't make happen. Mm-hmm. I'm going to places that I would never think I would go to in this world. And did I'm you? Like, Damn. Did you? <laughs> wow. What What did you think of the of the 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 movie? Uh, uh, 
where, where uh, what's his name? Portray was it? Uh, Chad, y'all help me. Chad Black Bosch. Panther. I think Chad Bosworth. Chad Bosworth. Yeah. Uh, yeah.